In this episode, I am going to talk about how you can add attachment with the approval action in the Power Automate flow. Here I have one list called device order and whenever I am clicking on this new button, it will open up this kind of form for me where users are entering the title and attachments. Here they are uploading multiple attachments and when they click on save, I have a power automate flow to send an approval action. I want to attach all these multiple attachments from this SharePoint list to my power automate flow. How can I do that? But before that, if you haven't followed me on my Twitter and Instagram so far, please do follow me and don't forget to subscribe my channel because it motivates me to create such content. Let me head over myself to the Power Automate flow and the first action I need to take is from SharePoint. I need to use when an item is created action where first I need to provide the site address and list name over here. So I'm just providing my site address and list name first. I provided both the information over here. Now let's click on the next step to add get attachments from the list attachment. So for that we will simply use an action get attachments. Once we use get attachments we need to provide the site address and list name again. Here I need to provide the ID. For that whichever previous action I'm getting the ID let's provide that ID over here. Next step we need to now get the attachment content okay and for that let's use an action get attachment content when you search for that you will find one action underneath sharepoint so let's just use that get attachments content over here again provide site address and list name now the first parameter that we need to provide here is id so this id is something which is coming from my trigger when an item is created and this is how it looks like so let's just provide that stuff over here so i'm just dragging this id and then we need to provide the file identifier and this file identifier is something which is coming from this above action get attachments you can see this is what i'm getting and that's what i need to drag over here so let's just drag this file identifier and when you add that you can see that it has automatically added this apply to each loop underneath that all right all good now what we need to do here is simply this will provide me the multiple attachments over here so basically i need to initialize one variable and attach all the attachment underneath that for that let's initialize one variable over here so let's take an action initialize variable and provide the variable name as variable file error. Let's take a type as array and let's keep value as blank. Go to the apply to each loop and add an action and here search for append to array variable. Search for the variable and add the value here. Now here you need to add a value in this specific format. Just add this kind of curly braces first okay then we need to add two key value pairs over here so let's add the first key as name so double quote and you need to type a word name quote complete and then colon and after that you need to search here for the name property and you will find the display name property over here this display name property you are getting from get attachment section and that's what you need to drag over here so let's just provide that display name after that use comma and hit enter then again you need to use double quote and use the property called content so use this property finish the uh, quote and colon and now search here for the content and over here you can find this particular property called attachment content you simply need to use this specific stuff and drag it over here so let's just provide this attachment content over here and we are all good after that let's add a next step and here i will use approval action and simply i will create start and wait for an approval and over here i will select simply approve reject as a type then let's select provide the title device approval okay and let me just assign at this moment statically to Dhruvind. i'm just entering his email address and then click on show advanced option and you can see this kind of attachment option over here and over here you can see that this t icon 
just click on this D icon over here. And once you click on that, it will be converted to this kind of text box over here like this. Now simply here you can drag your property. Select this and select this variable file array and that will add this attachment control over here for you. Now let's click on save over here. Now let's perform the testing. For that I am simply clicking on taste button and clicking on manual and clicking on taste. And now let me just go to the SharePoint list over here. And now let me create a new item. I am just creating as device A. And I am attaching two attachments over here. I am uploading two PDF files and simply clicking on save button. And now let's see what will happen. So this will start triggering and you can see that it triggered successfully. Up to this level we are all good. Now it goes for start and wait for an approval action. Meantime let me open up my teams and email notification both of them. So I just received a notification over here in the teams. And you can see that in teams I got both of these attachments attached over here with an approval action. Alright so you can see it clearly. Now same way let me just open up my mailbox. I received a notification as well in the email. I'm just opening this email and you can clearly see here that this is my approval action and this is both the attachments over which are attached over here and those are looking like this. So this is how you can simply attach the attachment with your approval action. Hope this video helps you and values your time. If so, make sure that you hit subscribe button and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me. If you wanted to follow me on my other social media handles like Twitter, Instagram and all, you simply need to click on this all link option over here. And once you click on that, basically it will open up this about section from where you can follow me on all my social media handles along with all my websites over here. So don't forget to follow me on my Twitter and Instagram and see you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.